Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yasudian, a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. We will discuss today the causes, clinical features and management of brittle nails. Most of the information comes from multi-author publication in the journal Dermatology and Therapy, written by world-renowned nail experts based in different countries all over the globe. Nail plate brittleness or fragility is a common complaint affecting up to 20% of the population, especially women about the age of 50, with fingernail fragility more prevalent than toenail fragility. Nail brittleness is characterized by nails that split, flake and crumble, become soft and lose elasticity. The causes can be idiopathic when no underlying etiology is identified, or it can be secondary to various skin and systemic conditions. Idiopathic nail fragility is the most common cause of nail brittleness, almost exclusively seen in the fingernails. In women, the intercellular keratinocytic bridges are constitutionally weaker than in males, and this may be the cause for the higher frequency of this complaint among females. Normal nails contain 5% lipids, and this decreases in the nail plate with age especially in postmenopausal women. Nail brittleness can also occur due to secondary factors. Several inflammatory dermatoses such as psoriasis, lichen planus, alopecia areata and eczema may involve the nail apparatus. In psoriasis, deep and irregular pits can occur with friable and brittle nails becoming more obvious as the severity increases. Lichen planus causes thinning, longitudinal ridging, and splitting of the nail plate. Fungal infections called superficial white onychomycosis causes white, opaque and friable nails with multiple small spots secondary to keratin digestion by the fungi. Systemic conditions like nutritional deficiencies, peripheral vascular disease and thyroid problems can also cause nail brittleness. Trauma from repeated hand washing or the use of solvents in work can also contribute to nail damage. Finally, faulty removal of nail polish can traumatize the nail plate, particularly if done very frequently. Going on to the clinical features, there are three distinct types of nail changes. Longitudinal splitting, otherwise called onychorexis, horizontal splitting, called lamella onychoschesia, and surface grittiness and discoloration, which is called superficial granulation. Let's look at each type. Onychorexis is particularly frequent among middle-aged women and reveals longitudinal splitting and shallow parallel furrows running on the superficial layer of the nail. The longitudinal ridges may vary from a few superficial ridges up to deep furrows and can affect a small part of the nail surface or more than 70% of the total nail surface. A single longitudinal split of the entire nail plate is sometimes observed causing a split nail. The pain induced by deep splits can be the cause for medical advice being sought. Horizontal splitting or lamella onychoschesia is caused by impairment of the intercellular adhesive factors that hold the nail plate together. Due to this, the nail plate exfoliates into fine horizontal layers. Triangular pieces of nail plate may easily be torn off from the free margin or breaking of the lateral edges could cause transverse splitting. It is typical of patients who wash their hands very frequently, for example homemakers, but also doctors and nurses. Superficial granulation of the nails is another type of nail fragility, often reported in people who wear nail polish for months, sometimes applying it over the previous coating. The nail plate keratins undergo a gradual granulation or exfoliation with the formation of small white yellow patches and striations. The white discoloration of the nail is due to the damaged nail cells on the nail plate surface. Going on to the management, this involves the treatment of the underlying dermatological or systemic condition, avoidance of trauma and irritants, limiting contact with water and detergents, and regular use of moisturizers. Most of those who have brittle nails, however, have the primary or idiopathic condition. Oral biotin of vitamin B7 has shown effectiveness in small studies. 
The dose is 5 mg a day for 3 to 6 months. Note that doses above 10 mg can interfere with blood tests like thyroid function and pregnancy tests and hence should be avoided. Natural supplementation of biotin with foods like walnuts, peanuts, milk and egg yolk is also helpful. Iron treatment is effective if the ferritin levels are below 10. Zinc at a dose of 20 to 30 mg a day could be considered in those with possible deficiency. Nail moisturizers that contain petrolatum, glycerin and urea may also be useful in brittle nails. Nail hardeners and strengtheners that contain silicone have shown success in limited studies. Finally, advice about wearing cotton gloves under the vinyl gloves for wet work is very important. Remember that treatment of nail conditions may take many months to show a positive effect. So being patient and adhering to all the management strategies mentioned is very important. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.